Eru the One is the creator of Arda, the world that is, and the world where Middle-earth lies. He created first the Ainur, who cooperated with him in the great music that started the world known as the Ainulindale. The Ainur were the offspring of his thought, holy spirits in his service, and Eru knew the minds of every spirit in his will. Even Melkor, the traitor. Eru appointed Manwe as the ruler and king of Arda and the representative of Eru, and as the one who communicated with Iluvatar personally. Sort of like a Moses figure. Eru had very few times of intervention upon Arda. Before the years of the trees, Eru sanctified the creation of the dwarves by Aule. Eru gave them life and consciousness with the flame imperishable, the secret fire that kindles life in beings. Then Aule took up the great hammer to smite the dwarves, and he wept. But Iluvatar had compassion upon Aule and his desire because of his humility, and the dwarves shrank from the hammer and were afraid, and they bowed down their heads and begged for mercy. But the voice of Iluvatar said to Aule, Thy offer I accepted, even as it was made. Dost thou not see that these things have now a life of their own, and speak with their own voices? Else they would not have flinched from thy blow, nor from any command of thy will. When Gandalf is on the bridge of khazad the flame imperishable is mentioned by him where he refers to the secret fire. The dwarves became the adopted children of Eru through the divine approval of Iluvatar. They were set to awaken after the elves. Eru was then sought after at the behest of Yavanna. Eru allowed the Ents to come into being on behalf of nature after Yavanna had concerns that the dwarves would have no love for her labor and would be at variance with the things that grow upon the earth, plants and animals specifically. Kelvar and Ulvar. Eru's most prominent interventions were the awakenings of the elves at Cuidenen under the stars and the awakenings of men at Hildorian under the sun, which marked the start of the First Age. When the Valar declared war on Morgoth in the War of Wrath at the end of the First Age, although Eanwe led the forces of the Valar, Eru was likely consulted before the attack was launched, although there is no mention of this in the published Silmarillion. During the Second Age, at the downfall of Numenor, the Akalabith, the changing of the earth from flat to round was Eru's direct intervention against the wicked Numenorian leaders under Ar-Pharazon. Ar-Pharazon and his men were buried underneath the ground on the coast of Amman and sentenced to exist imprisoned in the caves below Tolaresia, the Isle of the Elves, when they originally inhabited the land, until the end of days for their rebellion against Eru Iluvatar. The resurrection of the fallen hero of Gondolin, Glorfindel, or the elf that helped Frodo across the Bruinen in the books instead of Arwen, was done by the direct intervention of Eru Iluvatar in the Third Age. It is also probable that fate has something to do with Eru Iluvatar as well. The fact that Bilbo Baggins found the One Ring may have been divinely inspired by Eru Iluvatar. During the War of the Ring, the resurrection of Gandalf was an act of Eru Iluvatar, just as he resurrected Glorfindel. The resurrections of Glorfindel and Gandalf could only be done with divine authority beyond the wills of the Valar. The fall of Golem into the fires of Mount Doom, indirectly destroying the One Ring, and the destruction of Sauron all had elements of divine interference, prophecy, fate, and inspiration. The world would be very different if Eru never intervened. There would be no dwarves, no Ents, Gandalf and Glorfindel would not have returned to Middle-earth, and the war against Sauron might not have even have started or it might be doomed altogether. Elves and men would remain asleep forever. Even though Eru remains a distant person and has holiness in the literal meaning of set apart, he is a chief and vital character in the events of Middle-earth, and he should be known for all of his influence, wisdom, power, and most of all, restraint. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed that video, please make sure to leave a like down below. Also, if you want more details on the Valar, I have a video on that. And if you want to see more details on the Maiar or the Spirits of Middle-earth, I also have a video on that. All of these will be in the playlist that is listed um, to the right, and I will see you in the next video.